Over the last two weeks, we've heard from some frustrated parents about the cell tower at George Washington Elementary School. And tonight, at a city council meeting, many of those parents decided to stop by and continue the conversation. We've been trying to get answers about the controversial cell tower on school property, yet school officials have refused to talk. So our Terrell Bailey went to Wyandotte City Hall as the cell tower issue was noticeably absent from the meeting's agenda tonight. He has more from that meeting. Parents and Wyandotte residents are fuming after a 5G tower was placed on George Washington Elementary School. The only problem that I have with this is this started in 2018, and this is the first time we're hearing about it. There's many questions surrounding the tower, like is it on? Hoping to get those answers, CBS News Detroit went to Monday's city council meeting. We were met with other residents wanting answers. As a staff and as mother, I will pull my child from that school if you are to power that tower on. My son has cystic fibrosis. I fight for his life every single day. During the meeting, it was revealed the only way to keep the tower off is if the school board votes to do so. It's the school board that controls this at this point due to their contract, correct? Correct. And um, construction on a, a school goes through the state superintendent. Uh, it's not part of the city. The city's attorney says the antenna did meet criteria of state law. If the tower is turned on, parents and residents are threatening to sue. In a situation where parents and guardians are left with more questions than answers, the city's mayor also leaving parents wondering what will happen to the tower. The city does not issue permits. We're not going to sit here and debate and, and give you the answers that you want, specifically when there's pending future pending litigation. Best bet is for us to just keep quiet. Reporting in Wayne County, I'm Terrell Bailey for CBS News, Detroit.